All right, for today's short review, we're going to cover the Nixon Regulus. Before we get started, let's take a look at the watch. Here's the front, the side, the back, other side, and the strap. And the functions, we've got time, stopwatch one and two, timer, alarm, and back to time. And here's the backlight. Very impressive backlight. And Nixon designed this watch basically to remove all unnecessary functions that a majority of watch wearers don't use and basically try to make it as simple as possible with the minimum amount of features. One thing I really like about it is each function can be operated by the use of just one button. So you've got stopwatch one and two, which you can activate both with each button is designated for each stopwatch. And to stop it, you just hit the button again. And to reset it, you hold it. So super simple. Same thing with the timer. Hit it to start it. Hit it again to stop it. And hold it to reset. And so right now it's listed as timer custom mode. So two minutes is the time that I set. Or you could hit this bottom button and hit it to timer program, which is the pre-programmed times. So you got seven minutes, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 60, and back to timer custom. And then obviously alarm and back to time. And you can display either the day of the week or the year. And then time two, which it'll be listed up there, time two. And if you notice here, it says silent. If you hit both of these buttons, it'll switch to silent mode. And that basically mutes the beep. So for, you know, someone on mission or they have to be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Basically, they have to be, you know, hidden and they don't want to be, God, what's the word I'm looking for? They don't want to be exposed by any beeps. Uh, that's what that's for. Clandestine. If they're in clandestine operations, that's what that's what that ability to turn off the noise is for. And this watch is built like a tank. Uh, you probably won't be able to tell from the video or the pictures. But the entire body of this watch is metal. The case, the outer casing, I believe is like a G10 type plastic. That's what it feels like. But I mean, this thing was definitely built with the operator in mind or the military in mind specifically. So if you wanted a watch that could go to hell and back, this is definitely a very good choice. Price is not too bad. It's a little high. I think it was like 150 But, I mean, if you're an avid watch collector, you know that that is not bad at all. Um, I'm not saying everybody can afford that, but it is definitely within the realm of possibility for anyone to own if you just save some money for a couple of paychecks. Yeah, two thumbs up on this watch. Definitely recommend buying it. All right. I hope this helps you in your uh, watch buying adventures. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.